Good morning. This is a test of the upgrade process for Veeam Agent for Microsoft Windows. So I've got this article here that talks about support for version 1903 of Windows arriving with the latest version of Veeam Agent. But if we go here, go to About, you'll see I'm still at 3.01. Why? Because the integrated updates aren't quite there yet on this date of July 22nd, 2019. And this came out on July 16th, the new VM Agent 3.02 that officially supports the Windows version 1903 that I'm on. So in this lab test machine, yes, I've been running unsupported for a while. It's always best to wait for Veeam support before you upgrade to an OS, just so you have a full rollback and protection against, you know, cryptolog or another nastiness out on the internet. Uh, rollback from Windows itself, not always so great. Uh, there's been some issues with prior upgrades. You can Google that. All right, so what do you do? Uh, how do you get the upgrade if it's not showing in your integrated updates? Well, that's easy. I've got the download link right here, and you'll have to authenticate. And on the Veeam website, you can go ahead and just download it. So it doesn't matter, trial, whatever, it's all the same bits. Click on the download icon, and you get the file. So right before recording this video, I finished downloading. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the zip, double-click the EXE, and I believe the installer is smart enough to go ahead and close the existing copy of Eam I have running, which you can see in the Help About dialog in the upper right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Okay, user access control popped up. Now we wait a little bit. So what we should see in the end is a fully supported Veeam agent. And after this simple install, I'll be fully supported without any further action on my part. Okay, let me move this, move this to my primary monitor. And I can now clean up a little bit. All right, it's asking about licensing, so I'll need to deal with that. Here we go. And right there it says Windows 2019 support. I'm liking that. Got a quick screenshot. All right. Moving along, we do the update. As I predicted, it closed the user interface in the upper right corner, and it proceeds with simply and easily updating my agent software without any further interaction with the installer at this point. So now I just wait. Okay, it finished. Always a good idea to run the Veeam Media Recovery Wizard. Uh, we'll want to make bootable ISOs out of this and or bootable USB drives out of it, including the network driver and network connection settings from this computer. So basically, I just leave it alone. Hit Next. And it's going to go ahead and make an ISO file. So I already had one, but it's from an older version. Okay, so whenever you do an upgrade like this, you really should be testing out the bare metal recovery procedure on your hardware. So I'm just going to emphasize that. We're creating a new ISO. That means I should test it somewhere. Uh, I should also make a bootable USB and try it out on the bare metal, which uh, if that's a physical machine you're backing up. Or if it's a VM, do what I just did and um, create an ISO, mount that ISO, and restore into an empty VM. Either way, that's your way to have peace of mind and full assurance that a bare metal system backup is actually useful to you for that bad day when you need it. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up this part of the video as we wrap up completion of this upgrade task. Okay, it took a couple minutes. That's done. We have an ISO. Now I'm going to launch the user interface for Veeam Agent. Uh, I can go ahead and do the usual thing that most people would do, and that is go in the Help About screen. And you'll see I'm at 3.02, so when I click on Check Now, of course, nothing's going to happen. So that's cool. How do you get back in the user interface? I hope that'll work. So now it's doing a backup. That's about it. Make sure this finishes, and we really should, again, 
restore this into an empty VM or restore this to another piece of hardware that's similar in your house to make sure your bare metal restore procedure works. Uh, you could actually restore it to the same hardware. Um, but in that case, well, that's riskier because you're blowing away the uh, C drive of the machine that you've backed up. So I much prefer to restore into a VM. And I should work on showing that process next after this backup is complete.